I've begun to wonder if Donnelly's voyage here was as prosaic as it was presented. How disappointed not to have found the bones of the holy man. No wonder he hated the inhabitants so. To him they must have seemed like barnacles mindlessly clinging to a mercy seat. Why cling so hard to the rock? Because it is the only thing that stops us from sliding into the ocean? Into oblivion? And imagine the answered phone message. The tires are flat, the wheels spin loosely, and the brake fluid has run like ink over this map. Staining the landmarks and rendering the coastline mute, compromised. Where you saw galaxies, I saw only bruises, cut into the cliff by my lack of sobriety. I don't know the name of the wreck in the bay. Seems to have been here for several years, but has not yet subsided. I don't know if anyone was killed, so I certainly haven't seen them myself. Perhaps when the helicopter came to lift them home, their ascent scared the birds away. I shall search for eggs along the north shore, for any evidence that life is marking this place out as its own again. Perhaps it's me that keeps them all at bay. I remember running through the sands of the Cromer. There's none of the shipwreck I find here. I've spent days cataloging the garbage that washes ashore here, and I have begun to assemble a collection in the deepest recesses I could find. What a strange museum it would make. And what of the corpse of the curator? Shall I find a glass coffin and pretend to make Snow White of us both? Why is the sea so becalmed? beckons you to walk upon its surface, but I know all too well that it would shatter under my feet and drag me under. The rocks here have withstood centuries of storms, and now, robbed of the tides, they stand muted and lame. One day, I will attempt to climb them, hunt along their peaks for the eggs, the nests that the gulls have clearly abandoned. I had kidney stones, and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape. And you have been rendered opaque by the car of the trunk. 